last week when I was having a chat with one of the fellow parents there in my community, she mentioned to me that their daughter's class, she was stopped outside the computer lab. They couldn't get to the computer lab. And the reason was that that prayer was going, inside, going on inside the computer lab. And they had to wait for half hour before the prayer was over and they could get into the to th get into the computer lab so the computer lab was turned into a it mini mosque if you will it has now become a mini mosque kind of mm. kind of the situation and, and uh, other students who are not uh, muslims were prevented from using the computers yes yes so there was a clear disruption in the studies that we can show that we can see and um, there was another instance my girl my daughter I moved to Oakville about six months ago and this is the first school year that my kids are going to that school and now I can see that they are being eliminated they are feeling the discri they are feeling discriminated as well they are not being involved with other kids because because of reasons like they don't dress up like themselves so those other kids they are not eating the food like them, so they are being dejected, they are not being involved in the group. So you're so saying your, your daughter is being shunned because she's not wearing the hijab, she's not eating halal food, that kind of thing? That kind of thing, and, uh, and not just that, last week, or last month I would say, my girl is grade 3, and she told me that, mom, why do you pray to God when God doesn't even love you? And I told her that, why are you saying that? And she goes, she tells me that, well, God loves only Muslims. And I said, who said that? And she named one of her friends who's a Muslim friend. And uh, so I asked her inquisitively that, uh, okay, well, who told her? And she goes, her mom told her. So this kind of partisan and dividing messages are, are being, they are, they are carrying on. They are being communicated to the kids who are having such impressionable minds. So I am thinking that are these in accordance with Canadian values or we are, we are just turning a blind eye to Islamization of our Canadian values. There are other parents, other kids who are suffering at the hands of these kids. So I really appeal to the people that please come in huge numbers. It is not about hating any religious faith, any religious practice. All we are trying to keep is just as concerned parents that keep the religion out of the schools. Let the schools, public schools, be only about education. Did you ever dream that in Canada, a Western democracy in the 21st century, you'd have to encounter this kind of trouble? If I had anticipated it, clearly I wouldn't have come to Canada. This was one of the basic reasons, because I wanted to be safe, I wanted my next generation to be safe, and I, I have really very strong belief in Canadian values, and that's how I want to live. I want to live as a proud Canadian. I want to preserve the Canadian values. I don't want any Islamization or no bias to any religions. Everybody should be treated respectfully. We are a democracy and we are a secular country and that's, those are the values that we want to protect. Like what you just saw? Then click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.